arguably speaking, this is the primary site that a lot of people would go to to be able to look for jobs. How's it going guys? I hope everyone's doing well today. Now in a previous video I mentioned uh, a couple of sites or rather a couple of places where you could go to to be able to look for jobs, find jobs and apply for jobs. So one of the sites um, as mentioned early on is seek.co.nz. Uh, arguably speaking this is the primary site that a lot of people would go to to be able to look for jobs and that a lot of employers would use to be able to find suitable candidates for the jobs that they are trying to fill. Today I figured we will go through the what the employer sees when you are actually applying for a role. Now bear in mind that this particular setup here that I've got is actually not even tied to any particular company. I've requested specific permission from one of my friends who is an employer and he's just advertising and looking for someone to fill some of his roles. But bear in mind that with this particular view, everything will be blurred out. No identifying information will be seen. And with that, of course, just to preface everything as well, I am not an immigration advisor in the slightest, so I am unable to give you any particular guidance for your journey or whatever you are looking for. This information contained in this video is purely based off knowledge and sharing what is you know currently available for you and I figured you know it'll be pretty good to be able to see um, what employers can actually see. So without further ado now let's take a look here. Uh, so as you can see this is essentially the role that is available. So you can see how many candidates have currently applied for it, how many are new and if you had any um, so if the employer has any jobs that are currently expiring or you know something in drafts so we won't go into the whole create a job or anything like that, but it's mostly looking at the actual available job. So if we go into this, so this is essentially the view that the employer has. There's an inbox with all of the new applicants. There's a shortlist feature where, you know, they can sort of click into, you know, everyone's application and shortlist the ones that they want to interview, offer, accept, not suitable. So these are all, as you can see, pretty much, um, sort of little categories that employers will use to be able to sort out the um, particular candidates. So typically how it works is that an employer would go in and then you know rate a particular candidate depending on you know how many stars or what they think will be suitable. So for example like this guy, I mean I'll, I'll make, I'll backtrack all these changes but this is just for you guys to see and you can have a look and see not suitable or suitable you'll be able to shortlist and a couple of things like that. Now a couple of key things that I would like to point out from the employer's view is that yes they can actually see if you have applied for a previous role and so here you can see exactly what you know type of resume or what type of cover letter that that particular person has applied with for that previous role. So if it's a completely different role entirely this is what where you have to bear in mind that you cannot spray and pray. You have to manually tailor your resume and your cover letter according to the roles that you are applying for because look, you know, as an employer, for example, if I go through, have a look at this person's cover letter and it is just absolute trash, I don't think, you know, I'd want to proceed with this particular candidate, um, especially if it's the exact same cover letter, the exact same resume that highlights the exact same skills and he's trying to apply for two completely different uh, roles. So, I mean, obviously it depends on the employer, but these are, you know, common knowledge and just things to be aware of, you know what I mean? So, that's pretty much it, you know, as far as everything else is concerned from the employer's perspective. They can see, you know, how many people have looked for the job, how many people have viewed it, how many applicants. So, as you can see here, um, as far as the performance goes, it's, it's pretty much just the stock standard things, you know, as with any sort of job board. But I guess as an employee or rather a job seeker, you do need to make sure you understand that, you know, this is what the employer can see. And, you know, in saying that as well, there's also this feature here called a seek talent, talent search that you can actually use. It's a premium feature where the employer can actually search for talent based off the keywords on the actual job advertisement itself. So 
Yeah. Now, I just wanted to reiterate that I am not a recruiting manager or anything like that. So this particular view itself, it's purely for information's sake anyways. And in saying that, you know, it's, it's just to give you guys a look into what the employer can see, you know. And I feel like it's important to know these things. And of course, do your research. Make sure you have a cover letter and a resume attached that is specific to the job. You want to be able to come across as shining um, and not the same as other applicants because it is a job at the end of the day. And with that, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you want. Share this video if you find it um, interesting or if you've learned something new today. And of course, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Adiós.